Bill Gowdy and Lucy Lou, I don't know if you can see her or not, are checking in. I had a special request. Brian Rogowski asked months ago, and, I, I, and I've had so much stuff going on, I haven't had a time to put this all together. But he wants asked for some meatball, a meatball recipe. Well, I did a meatball recipe a couple years back, back when Bulldog Bill was alive. And they were really good. But I got another recipe. It's an old family recipe. It, it actually is. And um, it, it calls for rice. And I'm not going to use rice. No. I'm going to use uh, rice cauliflower in place of it. But you serve, it's called sweet and sour balls. It's pork meatballs and beef meatballs. And I'm going to use some special seasoning from Melissa. You just have to check it out. I'm going to be using the, yeah, the bull seasoning and the good seasoning on the pork and the bull seasoning on the beef. My hands are clean. And I'm the only one going to be eating them, so yeah, now's the time to get your fingers in here. If I was making this for other people, yeah, I'd be wearing the rubber gloves, but just me and Lucy Lou. Here's what you're going to need. Those are meatballs. And yeah, those are pork and beef meatballs. And you can't tell the difference. You can tell when you're making the meatballs. But you can't tell them when they're cooking. Or, or even after they're made. And then uh, one can of diced tomatoes. One can of tomato paste. A little V8. You can use any tomato juice. I like the V8. In here... I have bell peppers, some pineapple, thus fresh pineapple chunks, no sugar added to that, it's just regular pineapple. There's mushrooms, onion, one medium onion in there, and uh, celery, and let me see, is there anything else? Uh, I think that's it. And then of course the rice cauliflower. Now as soon as that fire gets ready, Looky here, not quite ready yet. As soon as it burns down a little bit, we'll get these meatballs on. I like to brown them first before I add everything in there. I'll show you. I got to take this time to thank the people at Camp Made. They made this all possible. This is my 12 inch Dutch oven and I have, I'm going to be using that. I'm going to put a link down below. You want the Camp Made Dutch oven, you want any of their accessories that they make for the Dutch oven, follow that link. Enter Gotti 20, I get you 20% off. Check it out.
All right, now I'm going to add the pineapple and the peppers and the mushrooms and onion and celery. I want these to cook down a little and get tender. before I add the tomato. While I'm waiting for this to cook, I got to thinking about the sloppy busker. His link is down below. You know, you just meet so many neat people on YouTube, and he is one of them. I, I, a YouTube promoter, oh, check him out. Tell him Bill Gowdy sent you. He, he's just an awesome guy. He really is. And I can't forget Tophelia. Yeah, the sloppy busker and Tophelia. She's got a cooking you wouldn't believe. I don't want to leave her out. Their link is down below. Here I am, running out of light again. I'm going to add the tomato paste and tomato juice now, and the tomatoes, diced tomatoes. Just about a, maybe a cup. Now I'm just going to let that cook in there for about, oh, probably. 20, 30 minutes, it'll thicken up a little bit. See that? That is my rice cauliflower in a cast iron skillet. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm just running out of light. Trying my best here. Now, if you weren't low carb, you could have regular rice. I want to lay down a nice bed of rice here. Yeah, I, 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 you know, that's a rice cauliflower. Oh, let's get to eating, shall we? Let's dig into that. You know what? I didn't bring a fork. I got a spoon. That's good enough. And I got the knife that uh, Deep in the Wood 73 sent me. That'll work. I don't know which is pork and which is beef. You can't tell. Mmm. Oh. Wow. There's a chunk of pineapple. Mmm. I'm thinking I like that cauliflower better than rice. You get the sweetness, and when you're low carb and you don't have sweets, you really notice that pineapple. It's starting to snow. They said we're gonna 
chance of snow tonight and it's happening. Mm. I am so hungry. Thank you, Brian, for the suggestion. Sorry it took so long to make it up, but just the way it is around here, I'm afraid. Mm. Thank you, Melissa. That is some good stuff. <laughs> That's for sure. Thank you for watching. Go Gaddy out.